good morning good morning it has been about one week since i've been in my new apartment and i'm loving everything about it it is pretty golden i still have a lot like a lot to do okay um that's peanut he's up a little early i was gonna take him to daycare but he's a little bit mm, under the weather so I'm gonna keep him home with his siblings and just head to work. I start at 9.30, so I have enough time to just make myself some breakfast. Oh, this is what I'm making. Why do they smell like they're burning? I'm making some plantains. And they're super ripe, pretty much just the way I like it. Don't mind the smoke, don't mind the smoke. They're not burning. Maybe they are, just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take these off and get back to you guys before they burn, because you know how plantains get down. So let me just fill you guys in. I've been here for one week now, loving every bit of it. And I got, why am I matching with my lunch bag and my water bottle? That was not planned. That was not planned, but it is what it is. So I need to be at work for just set you guys down a little bit yeah so I need to be at work for 9 30 it is currently 7 35 on the dot so I still have a little bit of time to kind of you know get my mindset wrapped around going to work I like to get up and have my breakfast and just kind of wrap my head around going to work because honestly some days it's a struggle but those bills need to be paid so yeah I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an insight on where I am. There is still so much to do. I am starting over pretty much brand new. I have a little bit of fake items here and there. Let me just kind of look at my eggs before my eggs burn because my plantains almost did. Eggs are looking good. I like my eggs cooked. All the way through and my face is given shiny because it is hot i have not set up my ac as yet so it's given hot it's given greasy it's given a little so anyways where are we i have quite a bit to do i need lots and lots of new furnitures i do have a chair so the chair is about six months old so that's why i'm not replacing it if anything i'll add but the space is not given ad, it's given like minimalistic, so that is what I am going to work with. I'm going to work with the space. I'll show you guys my office. My office area is, I think it's coming along. It's a little messy, but I feel like it's coming along. I have all my gadgets, my printer, my Cricut machine. I'm missing a gray basket, I need to figure out where it is. And the setup is just like that. I need to still put up my blinds i have an umbrella right there which i need to give to my mom because i no longer have a backyard so i have my machine here that i used to make books so things are still a little messy i'm in the midst of doing laundry so i have a batch right there Hi, my baby. Okay, since I have you guys here with me, let me just kind of open up my Timu package with you guys. This is the first of many hauls to come. And I just got a few home pieces, as well as some things for work, mostly for my office space. Okay, this is definitely for work. This is... um. This is a little pointer stick. Let me turn the fan off so you guys can hear me. All right, that's better. All right, so this is a little pointing stick for when I'm at work to kind of like, you know, point on the board like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's so cute. And it's pink, it's matching, it's a vibe. You can see how like my office area is going and why is this mat so small? But I got this for my desk. 
it, it is a, definitely a little smaller it's mostly for my mouse pad and just to kind of give a little bit of an aesthetic let's go put it over there okay let's kind of get the vibe going and i have this is like extra stuff that i need to find a home for I'm stick it there for now there's quite a bit going on here guys just bear with me all right so this is gonna be like this and my mouse pad goes on it like that i think it's a little vibe it's a little vibe it's a little messy but it's a vibe back to regular i got these little close pins uh this is to make like my new vision board i'm already thinking about next year so i have that i got this uh wallet to do my budget in because your girl went and got a luxury apartment and luxury apartment comes with a luxury bills so i'm gonna be getting i got these to kind of sort my budget out and they come with these things and this and don't mind my finger y'all i chopped the hell off my finger it it hurts but i'm working with it so i got these for budgeting a new phone case because why not and this is given super cute and for some reason it is looking smaller than my phone but it says 11 pro yes old but well oh i accidentally ordered two of these you know what the more the merrier i got some of these teach my baby how to spell his name I got some stickers for work to give to the kids I got this, but I don't think I need it. So what I'm going to do is just give it to my mom. And basically it is, I'll show you guys. It is a mat to cover your the top of your dryer to kind of give your laundry room a bit of an aesthetic. And I think it's super cute. Uh, the, the top of the dryer or your washer but mostly for the dryer so that you know it's not slippery and you could fold and put your clothes on top of it i don't think i'm gonna need it so at the time i thought i did but now we'll see i don't have a dryer at the moment so we will see i got a second one of those um table mats for my computer area this one will go to the girls i got a second iphone case because why not i got some of these little velcro strips to make like little educational cards for my son and i got another mat why am i ordering so many i think they doubled up on my order now i have to go check my bill because i don't know what i got charged for i got these little Timu has me spending my money. Timu has me spending my money. I thought this was super cute for like a game night or something like that. It's these little things with dice inside of it. You can just shake it up and you'll see whatever. I got it for family game night or something like that. Okay, what is it? Ooh, I've been looking forward to this. It's my little knockoff, uh, what do you call those cups? Stanley cups. But your girl can't afford no Stanley cup, so we got a little bootleg Stanley cup and it's given. It's given. It's super cute. I thought it was pink, but there's like a, it's like a plush color. And I have the little cover to go on it somewhere. I have to figure out where that is. So this is my knockoff Stanley cup. And listen, we don't have to buy the real thing. We do not have to buy the real thing. Okay? So these are some dry eraser educational stuff for my little one. And I got these. It's like a tracing mat type of thing or pouch. So if I want him to practice tracing his name, I would just put it in here. And then he could trace it. And then use the dry eraser to kind of 
erase it off of it. And last but not least, I got some tabs for my Bible because I need to replace those. I actually want to get a new Bible, so I need to go Bible shopping so that I can have a new Bible. The one that I currently have is okay, but I need a new one because my kids got into it when they were a little small and tore some of the pages. So I want to get a new Bible and I got the tabs for that. And that is pretty much the haul. Not a lot of house stuff, just pretty much for my office space area. But as we go along, we'll shop for some stuff. I think the first uh, thing that I'm going to shop for is my washroom because it's a small space and I feel like if I get the small things done, it'll, it'll make it feel like I'm doing a lot or it'll make me feel like I'm accomplishing stuff so I can move on to the bigger things. I need to get new bedroom furniture for all of us. My son wanted to keep his bed. I wanted to get him a new bed, but he was like, no mom, don't spend no money. That boy is always trying to save me a coin and I'm not mad at it, okay? Ever since he was yay high, it is what it is. So I need to get my daughters a new bunk bed. I wanted to get them singles, but they're like, no, we want our room to be spacious so we don't mind having a bunk bed. So, bunk bed for the girls, and I need to get a dresser, some nightstands for my son, at least. I need to get myself a whole new bedroom set, and just a whole new vibe. It's a fresh start, starting over, and I want you guys to come along on the journey with me as I revamp, redecorate, or decorate, and turn my house into a home, okay? So yeah, that's it. Wolf to work I go. Toodles! Hey y'all, it is a few days later. I literally just finished braiding my hair. I'm adding some flexi rods. I didn't have enough, so I did the front. And now I'm just like adding, I took the ones out from the front and I'm adding it to the back. And what I'm going to do is just stick it in some hot water so that I get a little curl. I wanted the curls to be a little bit more okay where's the lighting going okay here we go yeah I'm feeling sick so I have Vicks vapor up on as well but I wanted the curls to be a little bit tighter but they're loose whatever loosey-goosey so what I am going to do right now I just finish heating up the water some more I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of these curls and finish off with my hair. So it is like a couple days from the last time I vlogged, which was me like making breakfast, getting ready to go to work, y'all. Moving is a lot, to say the least. It's a lot. I have nothing because I threw away so much. I'm starting over from scratch. That is one. I managed to clear the table. These are just two toy bins I picked up from Walmart for my son. I'm trying to figure out if I should get him like um, one of those toy storage type of thing or I'm not sure what it is. After going through, sorting through a lot of things, I realized, let me show you guys. Right here, I would normally have six of these gray bins, but I only have five. Y'all, why did I forget one of my gray bins downstairs while I was moving, which was the bin with the most expensive things inside of it. It had like my sticker paper, my things like these, which cost me so much that I had to purchase and that was the bin that got left behind which I'm so upset about because on the morning the Monday that I went downstairs to go to work I noticed some stuff from the bin and I was like hmm those things kind of look familiar and I left it because I'm like I'm not taking up anything even if I see a penny or something on the floor not a penny but like a quarter or a dollar or two dollars I'm just not touching it because I'm just not, right? So anyways, the things in the bin looked familiar because they belonged to me and I didn't realize it until now. So I lost the whole bin of expensive stuff 
for me to use to pretty much put this book together it's like a budgeting binder that I'm working on and I lost all of the stuff so I'm gonna have to re go ahead and replace that which is a little upsetting to say the least right because I'm like why does the, these th things look so familiar anyways that is that on that so I have so much things that I need to get accomplished so many things that I need to get done I did this move it wasn't in a whim, but I really wanted to move super bad. So I got a new job, saved up, and just moved. And that was that. So now, I need to re pretty much refurnish my whole entire apartment. I did go ahead and did a lot of downsizing. I threw away a lot of stuff that just didn't fit into my life anymore. So I need a new bedroom set for myself. For the kids and the whole nine the only one in the house that actually has a bed bed is my son and that's because he wanted to save his old bed which eventually i will replace it but for now your girl's not going back and forth with this boy so i'm gonna let it be for now but i do have a vision of how i want my overall home to look i am trying to grow my channel so you guys help your girl out and yeah things are okay right now it's not super super organized but it's a little bit better than what it was before to say the least my goal was actually to rent a townhouse because that would have been more feasible because i would have had like everything i needed and but i'm kind of happy i got an apartment because it allowed me to throw away so many unnecessary things but yeah, just a little update. I need to go finish this hair. I'm gonna go stick these in water and I'll probably come back and show you guys what it looks like in the end. All right, y'all, I finished. Did I even stick this one in? I think I did. Anyways, I finished dipping. Yeah, it's done. I'm just gonna quickly take this out. Why is it so complicated? On the plus side, I'm so happy I know how to braid my own hair because these braiders out here are doing too much. Ain't nobody got time for that. With the understanding that, you know what, braiding is very time consuming. And when people ask me, who braids your hair? I'm just gonna add some mousse. I hesitate to tell them that I do my own hair because they want me to do their hair too and i don't mind let me tell you i don't mind as long as you're willing to pay me for my time but i've had instance where people ask me oh who does your hair and i'm like me and they're like oh can you do my hair and i'm like yeah i give them a price we agree and why do i braid their whole head stay in their head for hours and then they're like, oh, this is what I have. Like, don't come tell me this is what you have and waste my time. So I do understand that braiding is something that it's time consuming and I think it's worth it. The curls look like they're dropping, but it is what it is i did put a little pop of color i don't know if you guys could see it i want it to be like a little peekaboo situation we do a little scrunching so i'm hoping when i put it up it looks super cute for the most part i am just going to wear it up so this is my daughter's mousse i don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand but it smells really good all right so the curls are curling now i am i want to put a little bit of oil so this is like the bantana oil i did do a big chop recently recently so i'm trying to grow this thing back to be honest i don't like the smell of this oil but it does what it needs to do which is to grow your hair especially the edges because my edges they went on a vacation for the longest time so now they're actually starting to grow back if you guys can see i kind of left a little bit of them out 
right you see a little roly-poly here yeah those are the edges that are coming back and I tried to keep them out so I'm just gonna grease the scalp with this Bantana oil because listen after giving birth all of this was gone I had nothing here and all of this was like MIA so I've been using this and my tried and true old school if you're Jamaican then you know okay this this air oil any which one of them but the black one the docks the black one does it okay it smells it smells bad there's no <clears throat> there's no way around it but it's a strong strong smell but this old school oil and then I made my own little hair butter from um, I think it's like mango butter in here there's mango butter there is there's a whole bunch of stuff which I don't even remember but a whole bunch of other oils and this that and the third that I make I think this is the second jar that I'm on but this is what I do to bring back the, the edges and the hair just find something that works for you and stick to it that's what it is because what works for me might not work for you everybody swears by this oil there's another one out there I'm gonna order it off Etsy it's a pretty it's pretty pricey but it's like some African oil and if it's some African oil it's good stuff you know because it's coming from the motherland but that's that on that for the hair tell me how I did tell me what you guys think I've been doing my own hair since I was 12 years old and I'm far from 12 let's just say that because I remember the reason why I started to do my own hair my mom would take me to this lady who braided my hair and it would hurt like hell and my mom would let it stay I kid you not like seems like forever sometimes it seemed like it was like six months I had these braids it was struggling the hair would grow out so much and I would do a little wrap around to try to make things look proper and I'm like you know what I'm gonna learn how to do this thing so I could save my little money buy my little braid pack when the braid packs were like $2.99 a pack if you guys remember comment down below and let me know when braid packs were like it was the cheapest pack of hair in the hair store it was like $2.99 $3.99 the most you would go there buy a little pack of hair and I would sit there and practice and at first it wasn't like the greatest job because I remember I did my braids and I went swimming and why was I over there and my braids were over here and the kids were just laughing I went to a predominantly like white school so the kids couldn't understand how the hell did your hair separate from your head just like that it was funny at first but or it was funny then now I'm just like yeah but anyways I think I've perfected my craft from just trying and trying and trying if you guys can check and it's neat and sometimes I in the beginning I had like super short hair so my talent was catching the little 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 piece of hair on the head so that's how I would make my money in the summertime because people had like super short hair and they wanted like the best style ever and I was able to do that with braids so yeah that's it nonetheless here is done it's a holiday today here where I am so on the agenda I'm not gonna take you guys through this but I'm gonna tell you and then probably skip to other fun things but I'm gonna do some laundry I need to wash my son's hair my baby's hair and just do a little slick back braid it back so that he could wear his hat when he's at daycare I love to put it up in a ponytail but he can't wear his son hat and he needs to wear that because you know it's daycare so that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow i have work not very happy about it because i'm not feeling the greatest i wish i had another day off but i also need to sit down and take some time to go over my bills it's the beginning of the a new month so i really need to sit down go over my bills and do a little financial check-in see where i am so that I set myself up for success before the month ends and yeah I think that's it 
and get myself organized kind of reset myself a little bit for tomorrow's work day so until then tell me how you like the hair bye